It's Miss Masbury. I am outside and I'm getting ready to plant some plants for our plants and soils unit. So I'm going to show you some of the tools we're going to use and how we're going to be planting them. Here I have a tray that has a bunch of little holes in it so I can plant a lot of different seeds and not get them all mixed up. I'm also going to try, I don't know how well this is going to work, I'm going to try planting them inside some soil inside a bag that's see-through so that hopefully when it, the seed starts to grow little roots, we can see what's going on inside. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to do some experiments. So I'm going to get this soil ready, and this soil ready, it's just some dirt I found around my house. I'm going to put it inside the little tray and inside the bags. You'll come back once I've done that. Okay, I have gotten dirt in all of the bags and in the little pots. So now I'm going to spend some time planting them. I'm going to bring them inside so that you can see a little bit better too. Okay, I brought everything inside just because this, with the sun it was a little hard to see everything. Everything was a little too bright on my camera. So I brought it inside so I could show you what I'm doing. Now the soil's already in the tree. All I've done so far is I've poked a little hole into each one. So I won't show you that, but all I did was I went poke, poke into each little section so I could put a seed inside the hole. So I also made a little, this has been look confusing to you, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> and they are gonna be in my house, so that's what matters. I've made a little list that shows what's where. So each section is one plant. So it says dill, dill, dill. That means that in my pots, on one of my sections, it's gonna go dill, dill, dill. And then under it, it says, oh, over here, parsley, parsley, parsley. So under it will go parsley, parsley, parsley. Those are both herbs I like to use in my cooking. So I'm planting plants that I'm actually going to use and eat. Hopefully, as long as they grow, we're gonna dry our best. So I said the dill is gonna go in this corner. So I'm gonna pick up the dill. My dill, here it is, there are seeds in there. I used it last year, so it's already open. Seeds last a couple of years, they'll be okay. I'm gonna sprinkle a few in my hand and I'll show you what they look like. Here, oh, they're little, can you see them? Here is a little dill seed, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. And it's going to grow up into a big dill plant. It has, it's green, it has little kind of like flowery areas that come off, and it's a spice that's used in cooking. So I'm going to take two seeds and I'm going to plant them into each hole that says dill. One, two. One, two. And one, two. Now I have way more seeds in my hand than I actually want, so I'm going to put some back. That's okay. Now, once my seeds are in there, what I'm going to do, I'll show you, Ooh, don't drop it. My seeds are in one, two, three, these little holes. I'm just going to cover up the holes with the dirt so you can't see the hole anymore. My seeds are under the dirt and they are safe. I'm going to plant the rest of my seeds. I have basil, which is another herb. I have the parsley I talked about. I like to put that in my soups and on some potatoes. I have spinach that I like to eat in salads or cook up. I have onions, green onions. I have some peppers that if they grow a lot, they might turn red. If they don't have as much time, they might stay green, but I like green and red peppers. It doesn't matter. I have some tiny little lettuce seeds. So I'd like to make lettuce. I'm gonna make lettuce two times actually. I'm gonna plant some lettuce today and I'm gonna plant some lettuce about a week from now so that all my lettuce isn't ready at the same time because I don't want eight heads of lettuce all at once. I'd like one lettuce now, one lettuce later. So I'm gonna plant some later so that it's not done growing all at once because lettuce tends to grow at the same speed. So if all my lettuce grows, 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 it's all ready at the same time. If I wait a week, then this lettuce is this tall and this lettuce is this tall. So it gets an extra week to grow. I'm also gonna plant some cucumbers. 
I like to try to make pickles and I just love cucumbers. I also have some squash that I like to cook and zucchini. I make zucchini relish and I like to eat zucchini as well. And then I also have some bok choy, which I like to put in my stir fries and something called Swiss chard, which is kind of like the leaves of a spinach. It's a little bit more flavorful than spinach. And you cook, you fry it up and it tastes pretty good. So I really like to eat vegetables. So I figured why not plant some of my own? I'm going to plant the rest of these seeds. It's not really something fun for you to watch me do. So I'll show you what it looks like after. And I'll also show you how I'm going to plant. Don't fall down, please. Oh no, it's gonna make a mess in my kitchen. <laughs> I'll also show you how I'm gonna plant these after. All right, I'm gonna take a break, and when you come back, all of these will be planted. I've planted the rest of the plants, so I'll show you what I have and where they all are. So, I turned it around. So I have here, I have one, two, three dill plants. One, two, three parsley plants. One, two, three basil plants. I have four Swiss chard plants, because you eat them, so you want to have more of those. I have five for, uh, bok choy for my stir fries. These ones are zucchini, one, two, three zucchinis, one, two, three cucumbers, one, two, three squashes. And this one is all onions. I really like onions, so I want more of them. This one is all spinach. I love spinach too. This one is all peppers. And this one, what was my last one? Oh no, oh, lettuce. This one's <laughs> lettuce, silly Miss Raspberry. This one's lettuce, and this section is empty because it's going to be my lettuce that I planted about a week so that all my lettuce does not grow all at the same time. Now I'm going to put this away and I'm going to start to show you how I'm going to plant in the bags. Now that's an experiment, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, now we're going to start planting in our bags. I've never done this before. I just thought it might be a neat experiment to try so that hopefully as the seeds start to grow, you can see the roots and what's happening under the soil. But it's an experiment, so if it doesn't work, it's okay, right? We gotta always try, try something new. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my finger, stick it in the bag, and kinda poke a little hole where I want my seeds to go. I got my seeds ready. These are green onion seeds, just like my bag label says, so I don't get it mixed up. They are very small and black, I'm going to put them, open it up, put them in the hole, and cover them back up. Just like in our buckets or in our little pots. Now we're going to do peppers, poke in, make a little hole. Pepper seeds, you've probably seen these before when you're cooking. Can you see them? Oh, where are they? There they are. What comes inside the pepper? I'm going to take them, don't drop them. I'm going to stick them in the hole and cover them back up with soil. You always want to cover them back up so that they are um, safe from any wind or getting knocked out. And if they're not under the soil, the roots might not stick in properly because they need somewhere to kind of wiggle down into so that they can hold the plant secure. I'm also putting in more than one of each seed in case each seed doesn't work. Sometimes seeds are a bit older, Sometimes that seed isn't very good since it's cracked. So you always want to put in probably two, maybe three, so that hopefully one of them grows. If more than one grow, you can always take one out. Sometimes you can replant it and it stays alive. Sometimes they're too little and they die, but that's part of plants. Next we have bok choy. Take my finger in, make a little hole. And here, the bok choy seeds are very small, so I cannot show them to you. They keep trying to roll away. They look like little tiny black, just uh, circles, little tiny spheres. They are so, so, so small. I'm gonna cover it up so they don't get lost in there. And the spinach, I'll show you the spinach seeds. I'm just gonna make a little hole. And the spinach seeds are little, they look tan color. They're kind of almost spheres, but they're not quite round. So I'll put those in. I think you could almost see one there. It's a bit bigger and cover them up. Now I have another tray that I'm going to do. 
I'm just going to do that quickly off camera so you don't need to waste your time watching me. You've already seen how it works. And I'm going to plant squash, cucumber, and zucchini, and lettuce. Well, actually, I might show you quickly uh, squash because they're, the seeds are huge. I'll show you some squash and cucumber seeds. They're really big. So this, these ones, these are squash seeds. They're much bigger, so I'll show you actually how they go in. I won't make you watch the lettuce because the lettuce seeds are too small. The squash, poke the hole, in they go. Cover them up. Cucumbers, cucumber seeds are also pretty big. They're a little bit smaller. I'm always gonna plant two. Here are two cucumber seeds. They are white ovals again. I'll plant them in, cover them up. And I'll quickly show you a zucchini seed too because they are big. They are the biggest ones, actually. They look kind of like pumpkin seeds. So when we carve pumpkins, here they are, zucchini seeds. And they will, oh, I forgot to make a hole. Make a little hole, put them in and cover them up. Lettuce, I'm gonna do on my own because they're very, very small. I won't make you watch. And after that, all I'm gonna do is I'll show you quickly how I'm going to water them. Okay, I've propped my seeds up a little bit so you can see them when I pour the water. And you know, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in each one. They're still just baby seeds. They don't need that much water. So I'm actually gonna cover up the hole a little bit so it doesn't, oh, doesn't make too much of a mess. I'm gonna just put a little bit into each one. If you don't have a watering can, you can also use a cup, a water bottle, a spray bottle, anything you might have that can pour. You just don't want to make too big of a mess. I'm going to pour a little bit in each one, kind of to settle the dirt because there's, uh, I just put the dirt in, so it's kind of, there's a lot of air in between it. It's spread out. When you put water in, it kind of squishes it down a bit. So I'm putting a little in each one. I might come back and put a bit more in each one after once it's settled down. And I won't show you to be doing all of that because that's just a little bit boring. The video is going to be too long. So I'll also show you how I'm gonna pour into these. So I'm gonna open up, this is gonna be a little harder. Open it up, make sure not make a mess, and pour a little water. You can actually see it on the video. A little water into each one. Yeah. This has more dirt in it, so I am putting a little more water because the dirt soaks up the water. And then I'll do all the rest of them after. So I put a little bit of water in each. They have dirt. Now what's the one other thing that they're going to need? sunlight. Once the video is over, I'm going to open up this window so they have lots and lots of sun. I just keep it closed because it's harder to see my face than what I'm doing if there's a bright light back there. So once the video is over, I'll open up the windows, let them get lots of sunshine, and stick around because I'm going to show you exactly what your job is because you can't do this maybe, so you're going to have a different job. Now that our seeds are planted, it's time for your activity. I know most of you won't be able to plant your own seeds and that's okay. If you do have seeds and supplies at home and you want to join with me, great, that's fine. Plant some seeds, join along. But I know most of you don't have that opportunity and that's okay. So you have a different activity. Everyone's activity for today is going to be to tell me a little bit about what they know about plants. So you're going to make, it's like a T-chart, but it has an extra column. A T-chart has two columns. This chart has three. You're going to make a chart like this that talks about your plant knowledge. So first, I know. What do I know about plants? Hmm. Well, I know plants need water. I know plants need sunlight. I know that if it's too cold, plants die. You could write all of that in the I know and anything else you know. What types of plants do you know about? Do you know that trees are plants? Do you know that grass is a plant? What else? What other kinds of plants are there? What else do you know about them? In the middle column, you're going to write to me your plant questions. What do you want to learn about? Do you know why plants lose their leaves in the winter? Do you know why there are different kinds of plants? Do you know why some plants are tasty and some plants aren't? Do you know why some plants are poisonous and some plants aren't? Ask me a few questions here and later in another video, if I have a lot of good questions, I'll make a video to answer them. This last column, you're actually going to leave blank until we've done a few plant and soil lessons. This one, 
is what I did learn. So what did I learn? You haven't learned it yet. You haven't learned much new yet. So you're going to leave this one blank. You have to put in, I know what you already know about plants. Tell me everything you know about plants. I want to learn some questions you have about plants and leave this part blank because we did not do our learning yet. This activity shows me what you want to learn, but we haven't answered the questions yet. So you cannot do this one. If you want to do plant, plant some seeds with us, that's extra. Everyone has to do this part, whether you're planting seeds or not. So just because you're planting seeds doesn't mean you don't have to do this. You still have to. So if you plant seeds, this is, that's extra. This is your activity. All right. I hope you enjoy it. And I really am curious of what kind of questions you might have. And I'm looking forward to being able to answer, hopefully answer them for you. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.